everyone, welcome to Pravi 20. This is Jehan Omar from Projects. Hello everyone and welcome again to Pravi 20. Today we're going to talk about a very common topic. Can you guess it? Well, it's coronavirus or what is called as COVID-19. Wait a minute, I'm not going to tell you to wash your hands. We're going to talk about the words and vocabs related to coronavirus. Let's get it started. So, the first one, pandemic. What do we mean by this word? I'll try to help you remember or guess it. Have you heard of HIV, Asian flu, or the Black Death? Well, all of these are called pandemics. A pandemic is a disease that affects people over large areas or over the whole world. Now, what is the first thing we do in the cases of pandemic? It is the social distancing. Social distancing refers to measures that are taken to increase the physical space between people to slow the spread of the virus. And as we say, standing apart is a standing together. Please do stand apart, because if you don't, you might suffer from the incubation period, which is the time from the moment of exposure to an infectious agent until signs and symptoms appear. And that would lead us somehow to quarantine or isolation, which is a period of time when a person is kept apart from others in case they are carrying a disease. Now, what do countries do in the cases of having large cases of pandemics? A state of emergency is declared. Now, the state of emergency means a temporary system of rules declared by the authorities to deal with an extremely dangerous or difficult situation. Now, you will say, what are the things that happen during the state of emergency? Well, let's start it gradually. We'll start with the shutdown, and that is when non-essential businesses close. And while the essential businesses don't close like pharmacies or grocery stores, then things might get worse and we can move to a lockdown, which is an emergency protocol that prevents people from leaving a given area. Finally, we have something that we're having nowadays. It's something we have from... 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Did you get it? It's a curfew, which is to keep people off streets for pre-decided hours, and any violation is met with a fine or arrest. Watch out, guys. Now let's talk about us as people. What is the thing that we do when we hear of like pandemics? The first thing to do is to stockpile, stockpile, and stockpile, which means to gather large amounts of something. But what do we exactly stockpile? Do we stockpile burger, pizza? No, we stockpile non-perishable foods, which are foods that can be stored for a long time without being spoiled, like rice, beans, and nuts. Now, I will tell you about an idiom that I think would be good for you nowadays, which is home body. Now, guys, you might be home buddies or try to be home buddies. A home buddy is someone who enjoys and prefers staying at home. Now, the last thing to say is please, please, please don't be COVID idiots. COVID idiots? Yeah, I'll tell you what does this mean. It means a person who ignores warnings regarding public health or a person who hoards goods, denying them from his neighbors. Thank you so much for listening. Feel free to toss your suggestions. I hope you and your families are safe and healthy. Remember, save lives, stay home. Thank you.